Welcome to getting ready for third grade math like a boss. My name is Miss McCarthy. I am your host and your teacher. I'm so glad that you are here. Maybe you're watching from school. Maybe you're watching from home. Maybe you're watching on your mobile device. Mobile, 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 mobile device. I don't know. But regardless of how you are tuning in, I am so glad that you are. Um, just to let you know, these videos, this series comes with a workbook, and I'll show you how to access that workbook a little bit later. So we're taking the top eight skills that you need to know for third grade and embedding them into this course. So that's why we're here. Now I've got some shout outs for you because it's been a little bit since I finished up my How to Pass the Math FSA series. Check that out, by the way. I've um, got some shout outs. First of all, first shout out goes to Caitlin. Caitlin made me this super awesome Jake and the Neverland Pirates Duffy doll. She gets these from Epcot and it is awesome. Uh, next shout out, number two, goes to Ray Kwan. Ray Kwan, you've been waiting for this. Ray Kwan, shout out is for you. You're awesome, my friend. Um, last one comes from Lake Gem. Elementary. This is from fifth graders. We've got Malachi and Ethan from Miss King's fifth grade class. Shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching the last series. I hope you watch when we do the getting ready for sixth grade like a boss. It's coming. So, uh, woo, I'm all winded now. Without further ado, let's get going and let me teach ya. All right, everybody, it's time for Boss Notes. Here's what we've got today. So for your boss notes, you should have a chart like this. You've got a four comma two seven two. And what we need to do is fill it in. Up top, right here, we're gonna put in the P, the place that it's in. All right, a little bit bigger right here so you can see. We're gonna put the place right there in that column, in that row. And then over here, we're gonna put the value of the digit in this one, okay? So, let's go. Let's start with it over here from the right. So, the first one would be the two is in the which place? The ones place. So write down ones inside of that box. And that two is worth two. Next we've got a seven. The seven is in the tens place. Okay? Seven is in the tens place, and this seven is worth seven, zero, seventy, seven, zero. Next, our two in this place is a lot different than this two, because this two is in the hundreds place, and it has a value of two, zero, zero, two, zero, zero, two, zero, zero, which would be two hundred. And finally, we are moving into the next period. So everything right here was in something known as the ones period. And in third grade, we embark on the thousands period. Okay, we don't get all of them. And there's three digits in each period is usually what happens. So the four is now in the thousands place four thousands and the value would be four take the digit comma zero 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 four comma zero 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 because this four has a value of four thousand so that's what you need to record for your boss notes today let's move on now it's time to learn learn it with number one so number one the directions say write the place and value of each digit in the number in the table. So those are your directions. So we have the number 3021. 3021. And before I even start this, I'm going to go ahead and record O T H thousands. Okay? O T H thousands starting from the right and moving on over. So the 3 is in the thousands place. 
So for the place, I'm going to put the thousands. And the value of the 3 would be 3, comma, 0, 0, 0. 3, comma, 0, 0, 0, otherwise known as 3,000. That's the value of 3. The 2, now I'm switching up the order a little bit because I want to make sure you're paying attention. The 2 is in the tens place, O-T, tens place. 2 is in the tens place, and it has a value of 2, 0. 2, 0, which is known as 20. That's right. The 0. The 0 is in the hundreds place. Hundreds. And it has a value of 0, 0, 0. So we're just going to write one old big old 0. 1. The 1 is in the ones place. How convenient. And it has a value of 1. That's it. So that's number one. So go ahead, students, and put a pause on me and put a play on you, and I want you to record everything that I just wrote. All right, example two. We've got the number 6,874. 6,874. I'm going to go ahead and put my letters above it. O-T-H comma thousands. All right. The four is in the ones place. Let me get my blue. So the four is in the ones place. It has a value of just four. The six, the six right here is in the th th thousands place. And it has a value of six comma zero zero zero. Six comma zero zero zero. I'm gonna pause for just a second because I know that I'm going a little fast with the chart. But guess what? When I finish the chart, just click pause and then copy everything down. Just take the time right now to watch and then you can copy down in just a minute, okay? The seven, the seven is in the tens place. The seven is in the tens place and it has a value of seven, zero. Seven, zero, which would be 7D. Finally, the eight is in the hundreds place. Okay, and it has a value of eight zero zero. All right, so what I want you to do is go ahead and practice number three and number four right now. So pause the tape. The tape. It's not a tape. It's a video on YouTube. Oh my gosh, I'm going back to like the 90s. Pause this video and come back in a second and check your work that we're going to do together. All right, ready? Pause. You're back. It's time for you to check your work because you should have done three and four with the pause video and now you're back to do it with me. So let's see what you've got. Um, I forgot to write this in. Five, eight, nine. Is that what is in your workbook? Yes, that is what's in your workbook. However, there's nothing in this last row. Okay, so your first step should have been to write the letters up here of which place it is in, okay? So over here we need to write N O T H and there's nothing in the thousands, so we don't write anything. So the five. What place is the five in? That's right, it is in the ones place. What's the value of our five? If you said five, you are correct. The eight. The eight is in the tens place. So you should have written down tens there. And if you didn't, just, you know, pause it at the end and go back and rework it. The eight has a value of 80. You're right. 80. Eight zero. The nine. What place is the nine in? The nine is in the hundreds place. Man, you guys are smart. And it has a value of... Nine zero zero, which we can say is nine hundred. Awesome job! So if you got this correct, put a little checkaroni there. If you didn't, that's okay. Just redo it. Practice makes improvements, so we got to keep improving. You don't have to be perfect. All right. Last one for today. So you should have completed number four on your own to give it a try, and now you're gonna help me 
fill in the chart, okay? So, first of all, what? We got the digit four, which is located right here. I'm not gonna put the letters up here. I'm gonna let you just tell me what goes in the boxes. Let's see. The four is in which place? Right, O-T-H, hundreds. The hundreds place. What's the value of our four? 400, that's correct, 400, zero, zero. awesome. The six, the six is in the what place? The ones, the one and only. And it's worth a value of six. Wah, wah, wah. The three is in the which place? The thousands, awesome. Thousands place. And what is the value of our three? You got it. The value of the three is the thou three thousand. Three comma zero zero zero. And finally our zero. Which place is our zero in? O T tens. And this is a tricky one. What's the value of the zero? Just zero. So here are some tips for the rest of your week for days two through five. So on day two and three, you are going to be doing the own it sections in your workbook. The own it sections are very similar to what we did today in the video, so you should be okay with that. On day four, I'm gonna kick it up a little bit for you. Basically what I'm gonna do is fill in part of the chart and you'll have to complete the chart and then decide what number was it that we were supposed to be starting with. And for day five with boss mode, I wanna go over something real quick. So for boss mode, you're going to see that you have to model the numbers, which we didn't talk about earlier. So let me make sure I touch base with that now. So let's say that the, the number was 1,246. What I'm going to do is just write this number in the right place. So the 6 is in the 1's place, the 4 is in the 10's place, 2 is in the 100's place, comma, 1. Okay, so to model this, let's start where we, let's start from first grade and such that you've been doing. So you know that six ones would be like six little ones cubes. Five and six, okay? I just drew little dots to kind of make them look small. And for the tens, four tens, tens look like a tens rod. So I'm just gonna draw four sticks going down. One, two, three, four tens rods. That's how I can model this number. Two would be in the hundreds place. Those are the flat blocks that you have. Two of those. And then for the thousands, the thousands would be 10 of the hundreds stick together and that would look like a big old cube. So to draw a cube, you're gonna first start by drawing a square. At the top corner, you're gonna go slanty to the right, slanty to the right, bottom corner, slanty to the right, and then connect them. So that is how you would model your number. Today's B message is be honest like a boss. When you are honest, that means that you are able to tell the truth and admit when you are wrong. Let's say for instance that you got a bad grade on a test. Well, be honest with yourself. Did you really study for it? Maybe you didn't. Don't blame the teacher for making a hard test. Don't blame your parents for waking you up in the morning too early. Be honest with yourself. Were you prepared? Did you do what, it, what needed to be done in order to prepare for this test? Um, maybe you said something mean to somebody, and then when somebody called you out on it, you're like, oh, no, 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 I didn't say that. That's not being honest. Instead, know when you are wrong and say, you know what, I did say that. I'm really sorry and you know I made a mistake do you accept my apology so let's all try to be honest like a boss catch you guys next time get ready be ready like a boss like a boss boss mode that math i'm getting strong